Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Yeah, uh, today we're gonna play something else besides Digimon Master Online. I know you guys are gonna say uh, this is kind of weird, and these videos don't get that much views as Digimon Master Online get. But I kinda stopped playing Digimon Master Online because of the last thing that is going on right now. Uh, Digimon Master Online, you know, like in the last couple weeks or maybe last month, something like that, a new game has been released. It's called uh, BBDMO, and it's uh, not the Digimon Master. It's like Digimon Master. It has its own. It's uh, it has the same thing that Digimon Master has, but. It's uh, something different, it's totally different. I checked a couple of videos about that and I saw that the game, the new Digimon Master, I mean, not the original one, the second one, has more people and more players on it and many of the people said it's really better than the normal Digimon Master online. And I don't know actually, I'm really kinda confused about which Digimon Master should I play. Like you know, I play the original one the Game King version and right now a new version came up and I don't know if they have the same thing but totally I know that they don't have the same events so I stopped right now because I don't want to, pro to process on any of these games and later one of these games is gonna be closed because of copyright issue I don't want to waste really like long time trying to level up the character or do stuff and later I'm gonna waste all that progress. So as you know guys, Digimon Master Online right now is trying to do its best to get the players to, to the game again and the new Digimon Master Online doing the same thing and trying to get the people from Digimon Master Online to move to, to the new game. I don't know what's going on anymore. So I decided that the best thing is to stop playing Digimon Master Online until we know which one is gonna stay and which one is gonna be closed and in the worst case if the both of them just to stay there it's gonna be good because I'm not sure what is going on anymore in Digimon Master Online so I decided to play something else like I stopped playing Digimon Master Online since the new Digimon Master Online came out I stopped playing Digimon Master Online and I decided to play something else. I don't know if I'm going back to the Digimon Master Online lecture, but I know that in the meantime I'm not going back to Digimon Master Online. But later I'm not sure if I'm going back or not. So I decided to go back to old game that I played when usually you know Digimon Master Online has an event and you close the server and you sit down trying to do nothing, but it's gonna be really boring. So I came back to a game that's called Soul Worker. I don't know guys if you know about this game or not. It's free on Steam. You can download it for free. It's free to play. And you don't have to pay money in order to get something in the game. You can get almost everything. Almost. I'm not saying you can get everything. I'm saying almost everything in this game without paying anything. So. We're gonna keep on going. I, I start this game. So this game is like another enemy RPG games. You know, it they have when I started the game, they had it like just four characters, and right now they have I think seven characters, and each character has its own skills and own backstory. So you can see here. Um, there's here in the video you can see. Like Stella, this is Stella, the guitar girl, I'm using it, she's pretty good and it has its own story, its own power and its own stuff, totally something different with another character, as you know it's it's normal thing. As you can see here it's pretty like enemy game, enemy RPG game and each character has its own stuff, and what I mean it has its own stuff I mean it, like for example here um, the armor are shared. You can you can use the armor on both of them. You can use um, the armor and 
it has accessories on them but you can't use the weapon with them like for example here Stella has a guitar and you can't equip a gun or equip anything else to her because she has only a guitar and she won't use any other weapons so this is the difference between the character beside that the fashion as well as you can see here I can't use this one as well I don't know why well no wait I can use it sorry <laughs> sorry it was my mistake I can't use it I can't use this one but for the, for the fashion and for the items you can't use them if it's not for your character so and yeah by the way you can have your small home you can have your own home as well I'm going to show you my home because if you, when you do too many quests you're gonna have a little bit money you can waste a little bit of that money by trying to make your own house that's not my house <laughs> it's not well someday I hope I can get that house but it's not my house that's the thing that I know so we can uh, so this is my house as you can see it's pretty small beautiful room there's the kitchen, there's the TV, there's the library, study room, sleeping room, all together, all inside of each other. And by the way, you can crop the item or you can just buy it if you have um, money. Talking about money, there's a difference in currency. The battle point is something, um, as you can see, it's to buy high quality items from Teleska. I, I forget actually where is she, but I'm gonna look back for her. And this is the dance. Uh, this Dizinai, I think. I don't. I'm not sure if I pronounce that right or wrong. But this is the money that you can use to buy items, and this is a special currency that you can use on. Uh, outside, there's a special NPC. He looks like this. He looks. He looks like square. Actually, I'm not sure what. What does he looks like? hamster I think and you can exchange those money with him to get uh, special items and this here is a soul cash is when you top up when you just charge like you know no, any other normal game if you charge with a premium shop so you can get many good items so it's in steam as well uh, so I'm going to leave right now and I'm going to start playing quests or two quests well actually I can't say quest because I can say two or one episodes the problem is it's not a problem the thing is uh, first the quest start and then you're gonna get the XP you level up a little bit and then the second quest or the third quest gonna tell you to defeat the final boss on here so as you can see my quest is here, as you can see right now. I have to complete this quest, and the third, the later quest is gonna be here. So you have three differences in this game. You have the normal, the normal thing, and then you have the hard, and then you have the maniac, the the maniac, maniac. I don't know. So uh, this one is pretty hard mode. It's pretty pretty hard, so hard and sometimes you can die in here if you are not really well equipped and really not that high level or not really strong you can die in here but the rewards in here are pretty more better and better from the normal and the hard one it's a normal thing in the games so we're gonna keep on going with the episode and uh, there's an auto team you can go with auto team or you can just invite your friends and go together with them so I'm gonna go solo because I asked my friends before to join this game but some of them like it and played it for a little bit and then said no I'm gonna stay with Digimon Master and most of them said no
we're gonna say guys it's so imperative that I do the same but um because those quests are kinda easy to do I'm not using any of those much skills but on the final boss or on the hard fight I really use that skills I mean on maniac and on a hard mod I really use too much skills it's not like not like the normal one, the normal I can do it without skills, without boss fights and many boss fights. I can't do that without skills. <laughs> or without use a summon special summon. So the more you know about this game, the harder it gets. It's like any other normal games. Start from zero from the bottom, from zero and then the longer time you progress in this game, the more you know about this game. So it's really kind of fine. Like, oh, like it was the same thing with me with the Master Online. The first time I started playing that game, I really didn't understand how the stuff was coming in there. But the more time I played that game, I became like... I almost understand how the stuff is going in that game. This is pretty normal, so I have to wait a little bit. Okay, still not there yet. So monster car, monster car. Sorry, I wasn't actually reading what's going on. I wasn't reading what's going on, so... I didn't know that they have to protect the card. And I was saying, what a weird boss fight in here. Was well, this something different, actually? So I'm gonna use my special card. Because I need something to help me a little bit. I'm gonna use a supernova because I need to do the buff. <laughs> Luckily, I was just there watching TV or something. Run. So we did it, right? Check up that bag. To be honest, I didn't get a quest like that before to protect the car. Oh, shit. Okay, we got the hidden Let quest. Perfect. So hidden quest, as you know, hidden quest has it has hidden reward. I think it's a really hard game because I'm in advanced stages. It's a pretty easy game as long as soon as you learn the, the 
combos and the stuff, it's a pretty easy game to play, it's really not that hard game to play. But you know, the more time and the, the higher level you get, the harder the game is going to be. It's normal like, oh, I found a box. So that is a secret box. You can get a pretty good item from it. Blueprint, come on. Blueprint? No, not yet. I'm gonna see now if this quest is done or not. Oh no, it's not. No uh, God! I think I need a little bit of time until I can open the second level. Second level. I'm gonna need a help here. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna open the supernova, the normal supernova one. Because I can't take the supernova yet. Okay, okay. It sounds really kinda of harder to me. I haven't encountered a boss like that. Can to break his his armor. Finally, we broke his armor. Yeah, we did it. What's that thing? <laughs> well, I did it. I have to say that if you look to my character, it's level uh, uh, 28. So, it's a boss fight here or harder than if I went to start with the boss fight level 1 or level 2. Okay, let's see what did I get. Okay, repair kit and gonna uh, have attack speed or the attack. I don't think I can open it yet. No. Okay, this one is weaker than the one I have. And this one are better, but feed until 21 March. No, I'm not gonna use those because we're gonna keep on using mine. So as you can see, there's emojis as well, and there's when you complete the quest, you're gonna receive items as you can see, and those items are really helpful on your on your way the game or to get strong so I told you about that money that you can spend on this I don't know actually what is that thing animal is but yeah there's a shop and you can come here you can buy those stuff as you can see uh, you can see those coins 300 coins or those coins Called um, Arthur or something. Here you go. See, it's five. Oh no, it's something else. Sorry. Um, yeah, I don't remember. Those coins are something else from those coins. I'm really sorry. Those those are not coins. Those are uh, material to upgrade items. I'm sorry about that. I get mistaken. Those are the coins. It's called recruiting coins. And as you can see, you can buy uh, like underwear. Or you can buy blueprints, random boxes, you can buy stuff for your legs, like a pant or something, you can buy a ticket, Akasha tickets. Those are really important actually, to be honest, because those tickets are, you, see, you saw that monster that I summoned that was 
an Akasha skill, Aksha or something like that. I really don't know how, what, how to pronounce that thing. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing anything wrong because they are pretty hard to announce. So this is the skill. You see, <laughs> this is the card. Uh, those cards you can get it from quests or you can get it from completing a discrete uh, uh, season or an episode or you can just come here and buy cards from him it's gonna give you like card and then you're gonna open the card and see what you can receive from it so I I think this this was a little bit quick look on this game yeah I think so so I really hope you guys enjoyed that and I'm gonna see you next time if you like this game or anything just write down like share comment anything and tell me that you like this game so I'm gonna tell you what which server I play in and yeah I can carry you if you want to join me this, this game so yeah see you later guys